what is going on guys and gals, Bagel here, and today we will be going back into the dungeon. Now I managed to record two videos of this, I, I pre-recorded two videos of this, uh, yesterday actually, and I was really excited, I managed to actually beat a boss, uh, unfortunately I was killed by the Gatling Gull two more times, but um, the files that I made went kaput, and well, they were useless. So that's two, that's about 40 minutes of recording <laughs> gone down the drain. And then I also ended up recording a Binding of Isaac video. Just because, you know what, I, I, don't, I might not want to record them later. I decided, uh, well I'm in the mood, I might as well pre-record them. And that didn't go well for me. What the heck? I had a pre-made save. It didn't... Oh, dag nabbit. I had a save. I beat the boss, I went down to the next floor, and it didn't save properly. Well, that's just great. Now I have no proof behind my claims, but I'm going to clear this dungeon, and I'm going to show you how OP this, the Marine is. When I say he's OP, I mean I cleared the boss really, it was a close call really, but he does a lot of damage, I mean his clip has a lot of ammunition, he deals a lot of damage with just the starting level. And then his rate of fire can be increased pretty easily, so he's a really good character. He's a good character to play as. I'm just saying. I mean, he's not my favorite. I still really like playing as the hunter, but he's a good one. Now, it is a shame. Well, well, it is a shame that the two files that I had. The, sorry, no, the three files that I had pre-recorded that I was ready to upload tomorrow, uh, that those were ruined, and now I'm going to have to record more. But on the bright side, I get to record more. I get to record more of this, because I really like this game. It's a good game. And they just broke my shit. So, if you didn't know, up by my little hearts up there in the top right corner, or the, sorry, the top left corner, there's a little shield in front of my hearts, and that is uh, something that allows me to take one extra hit. And whenever I lose that, whenever my health, whenever my shield is depleted, um, cool stuff happens. An explosion goes off and it knocks people. It's basically a blank, if you know what those are. The blanks clear the map of all current bullets that are being shot at me. And it also knocks back enemies. So, it's a pretty good shield. And he starts with one automatically, so it's good to have. But, uh... It's gone. I'm taking a lot of damage. The first time I played it, I was absolutely crushing it too. Which is what makes it a real shame. Because I don't have proof of it. I was doing really well the first time I played it. Because I hadn't taken one damage until I got up to the boss. But, uh, that's all real. Wait for it. I killed several of him before. Quite a few. So I, I'm not as uh, unpracticed as I was last time I recorded this. So I, like I said, I've recorded two other videos of this, so I got my experience in recently. There we go. What the heck? There's a lot of enemies. Now these dungeons are what I believe completely randomly generated, so you, if you got this game, which I would highly recommend, it's a very fun game, you probably wouldn't ever get the same dungeon that I'm getting right now, because the rooms, while they probably are pre-registered, the, the way they are designed is completely randomized, if I had to guess. Most dungeon crawlers like this are completely randomized, so you never get the same one twice, which makes the replayability very high. And if you don't know, replayability is basically what's what are the odds of you playing the game again soon? And just really just, re just replaying the game. Being able to have random uh, generation makes the replayability much higher because why would I play a game if I have already memorized every single movement pattern and everything? But if it's all randomized, then people are more likely to play it from new experience. And the fact that there's a lot of loot, it'll take a while for you to ever get all of the loot throughout the game. That's what makes Dungeon Crawlers really fun to a lot of people. And I got a key from it. Nice. Okay. I'm at half a heart, the lowest health you can have without dying. So, uh, that's not a good sign. 
it's not also it's also not a good sign as to how I said, oh he's OP. But I'm already at it. So yeah. Not going over. But that that should pick up that should pick up quickly, hopefully. Please don't be a mimic. Please, please please don't be a mimic. Okay, it's not a mimic. And I got my shield back. What is this? As much as I like the transceiver up there, the walkie-talkie here, it gives me a free ammo pack. I currently don't have any guns to get. Because it, it gives me one free ammo crate, which refills my gun's ammo completely. But the start the gun I'm using right now doesn't have any ammunition on it. It's infinite because it's the starting gun. And because of that, I don't have any gun to refill. Hopefully I will get one before I face the boss. But you never know with these dungeons. stay back there. I got two shields. <laughs> I've never gotten more than just one, so that's pretty exciting. I could get half a heart. That's actually something I should definitely get. Yeah, no problem, man. Oh, this is not a good run. I do have the decoy, which I don't know what it does, but it might help me get out of a really sticky situation. Push in. Oh no, no no no, you stay back. Those grenades are very dangerous when they get too close. So is this guy. Uh, if you don't get it down properly, you can get really murdered by him hard. Uh, where else? Where have I not been? Here. I haven't been in that room, so... That's the only one I haven't explored. Please be loot, please be loot, please be loot. I really need the loot, man. I really need the loot. I don't have an extra gun, I have the starting gun. Most loot that I have is extra shields and some decoy. Which I'm saving, but I don't know what it does. Just give me a loot room, man. Please, I gotta, I, I need my fix. Come on. There we go. Yeah, if you, if you watch my other ones, you can obviously see a big difference from what I did then and what I'm doing now. Ah, nice, I got a new gun. And it's called the Totally Rad Gun. It has a skateboard and a cap. It's a pretty rad gun, if you ask me. So I can take on the boss now, but I'm going to hopefully just see if I can get more loot, because I'm greedy like that. You just wasted my shield. How dare you? That is just rude. What's in here? Ooh. I'm doing it. Made it. Nice. Okay, so I got some loot for being able to cross that. And that's all of the rooms. So I'm going to take on the boss now. With way less health than I should. I got the red gun, though. So it's the Gatling goal. I fought him thrice before, but this time, this time, vengeance will be mine. I warned you, if you ever fought me again, you would weep. You, know, you would rue the day you ever fought me, and today is that day. Today you will feel the pain. Today I have the rad gun. What? Got him. That's what the decoy does. It sucks up, it sucks up all the fire. Oh no! How dare you? Nope. This is not good. This is really not good. I didn't have a chance. I'm not even going to bother saying that that was even close to a fair fight. I had one shield and one heart, and I only had one extra gun. That is baloney. That is a baloney fight. Uh, what irritates me is whenever I fight a boss and I don't even have close to a chance of making it fair. I am a man of fair fights. And I will admit whenever it was an unfair fight, even if I won it. And I won't count it as a win. But if it's a 
bogus fight that I lost, I'm gonna call it out, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let that kind of stuff slide. Because people that celebrate a bogus fight like it was a huge victory, those, those irritate me. Because they didn't actually really win. Like, say, playing a game against someone that literally plays nothing except that one game makes it unfair to you. Because they have an obscene amount of experience playing it. But then, when they beat you, they act like they just won the Olympics. It's not fun for the person that they just beat because it makes them feel less. Maybe that's just me. I'm very competitive sometimes, but I just don't like people that celebrate fights like they just won it deeply whenever it was even fair from the start. Anyway. Uh, no, 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 no. Great. I have lost my mojo. I'm not nearly doing, I'm not doing nearly as good as I was. It's at the end of the hall. Give me some loot. Please, I need my fix, man. That's not loot. That's da that's danger. Tip this over. Pop out. Dump them down. It's called the trip slip kill. Don't ask why. Who it is. Okay, you know what? I don't appreciate your attitude, Mr. Ghost. You can just stop. Okay? I can't die to anything but a box. That's not how I work. I have to, if I'm gonna die in a dungeon, I'm dying to a box. Otherwise, it's just an insult. Okay, so that means there's loot through here. So I'm gonna teleport back up here. Take this door up here. A lot of here's. But if I can go down here, Keep saying here. Uh, I can. Ooh, no. That means I can probably be able to circle my, circle my way around into the block room, which block rooms always have loot. And I need loot right now. I have nothing, and I can't because there's nothing here. So I will teleport back down here. See if I can loop, loop back around down through that way. This is nah. I just ran straight into a shotgun shell. Not a good idea. Of course, I, I seem to be doing better once my life is really on the line. Having one heart, one damage will bring me down to the most possible. So, I just hope it doesn't come to that. It's through here. Loot room? It needs to be a loot room. Not a loot room. Danger room. This isn't what I asked for. I asked for strictly loot. It's like half a heart, though. Now, this is the loot room. Not a mimic. Please, not a mimic. A lot of mimics are in this game, I think. I think. Rolling eye. Back at you. Okay, so I checked it out, and the eye that I just collected, that, uh, if I roll into, if I dodge roll into a bullet, it reflects it back. So, essentially, that could be really good. <laughs> not, not this guy yet. Not yet. There's a lot of rooms I haven't seen. And I'm not interested in being murdered quite yet. I want to fight the Gatling Gold again so I can crush his feathers beneath my feet. But I can wait. I can wait. There we go. I mean, it would be get out of here. Gross. Be nice if I could get some loot. More, more loot. I've gotten quite a bit of loot. 35? I'm so... Oh, that's such a hard choice. Should I heal up, or should I get myself a new weapon? <laughs> I'm gonna get myself a new weapon. I gotta get one more shell case. So I'm just gonna... I'm actually gonna use this teleporter in here. I'm gonna teleport... Here. Check out this room and see if I can get any loot through Billy King. There's actually just loot. It doesn't have a key. Okay. Uh, do you guys have a key that I can have, please? Because I really, I'd like a new gun, but uh, I completely lost my train of thought. Uh, whatever I was saying, I'm pretty sure it was important. Oh yeah, something about loot, right? Really use loot. Just saying. 
Oh yeah, so I'm not sure whether or not I should spend the money and get a key, or I should spend the money and get a Winchester rifle, which is guaranteed to be 25. I'm gonna spend the money and get a key. It's risky, and it's, it's, it's a gamble. But there's a chance that I'm gonna get something better than a Winchester rifle in this chest. Wind up gun, charge it. Uh, oh, I getcha. It's the ring around the rosy or rosemary bush or something like that. Whenever I reload it, it's pretty cool. Gatlingo? No, it's the twins, right? I've already beaten the twins. They're the first boss that I beat, so I have a good feeling about these guys. And I beat them as the ring. So if I'm lucky, I'll take them out again. Ooh, no. You are dead. Wind it up, shoot them in the face. Ow. Oh yeah, dodge roll into the bullets. Yeah, it reflects it back to you. Did you see that? I'm dead. So it doesn't matter. Gonna end it here. Um, I just want to say thank you all so much for watching this. It's greatly appreciated. Really, it it re it really is. Uh, I just want to thank you for taking the time out of your day, do stopping whatever you were doing and watching this. I really appreciate it. Um, if you liked it, can you tell me why or why you didn't down in the comments? The constructive feedback is always great to have. And uh, if there's something specific that you would like me to play, why not tell me that down there as well? I want to know what you guys want. I want to know what the people want me to play so I can play things that you guys want, you know? And uh, while you're at it, <laughs> why not just consider subscribing? I, uh, I also post skits and other games. This was actually for Dungeon Crawl January, where I play a lot of Dungeon Crawls throughout the month of January. And yeah, I guess without further ado, as always, have a nice night. <laughs>